Just get it on. Bake, 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 bake. Hi friends, thanks for joining Friends Test Kitchen, where Kat and I scour the internet, magazines and cookbooks, anywhere to find a recipe that we think will be fun and delicious to make, and basically give you the lowdown by trying it in our own kitchens for ourselves. Today we have a fun recipe from Taylor Swift, of all people. Um, she actually had taken a sugar cookie recipe and then she made some alterations to it by adding chai tea and eggnog to it, which we thought would be perfect for December and for the holidays. So you can cook along, but for the details, just check the link below in our description box. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, that way you won't miss any of our future videos. So with any good cookie recipe, we start with butter. And you don't even have to preheat the oven at this point because there is a cooling time for the dough when we're finished. So we're gonna stick in half a cup of butter. Okay, so now this is where Taylor Swift's little magic comes in, right? So she says to take a packet of chai tea, and we're just gonna snip the ends off, and then we're going to pour in the crushed leaves into the batter. Um, the store I went to didn't have chai tea, they only had chai latte. So I think the difference being is mine is gonna not have as strong of a chai flavor. Um, and it's just adding more sugar and a milk element to it. So I just add, I don't know, I don't, mine doesn't come in packets, so I'm adding a couple tablespoons and hoping to strengthen the chai flavor. So okay. I try. So I, the store did so not have you'll it. see, yeah, so the great part about it is that sometimes you just have to use what you have in the house. So I did have some chai tea leaves and Gina's got chai, t uh, what, chai latte mix. Yeah. So we're gonna let you guys know if there is a big difference in flavor. So I'm gonna pour that in into the batter. Okay, so now that that is all mixed up, what we need to do is put our dough in the freezer or the fridge, up to you. If you have time, put it in the fridge for an hour. Gina and I are, are impatient. So we are gonna wrap ours and we're gonna put ours in the freezer for 15 minutes. All right, little baby. Time to chill. Okay, so the dough is firm enough. Uh, we had it in the freezer about 15, 20 minutes. And then now we're going to roll them out into little balls on our cookie sheet and then we're gonna press them just to make them flat. So you use a glass cup to squish them, but sometimes it can stick. So you dip it in sugar, granulated sugar, and then press it, and then press, and that way it won't stick. And you'll just have more delicious sugar on your cookies. What is your favorite Taylor Swift song? Oh. The latest one that I downloaded to my phone was called, I think it's called Lover. It's like a slower, soft one. Yeah, that was, yeah. Um, but I don't have one favorite. I think they're all fun or catchy or like nice. And... Yeah. I will say I did get to meet Taylor Swift when she was 15. We had known who Taylor was because we had used her in some of our things. And I got to meet her and she was 15 but just so stunning and just so sweet and personable. Okay, so we put the dough on our cookie sheets and we pressed them down. We're gonna stick them in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes and then let them cool for another 10 minutes. And then we're gonna make the Taylor Swift eggnog icing. So while the cookies are in the oven, let's work on the icing. And it's super simple. And it has a little bit of Taylor Swift's personal touch. Need more. <laughs> yeah, it said one tablespoon, right? 
Yeah, but you know, if you look at the pouches. actual Instagram or I don't know, was it on Instagram? If you look at the actual Taylor Swift recipe where she actually responds to a fan, because a fan was like, oh, this looks so good. I wish she shared the recipe. And she actually typed everything out and it was so cute. So I swore she wrote in there uh, one, but she said, or two or three, like depending on what you want, so. Maybe it was like while she was on the phone on a tour bus and it was bumpy and she meant to hit like <laughs> four, but hit one by accident. <laughs> Sometimes Kat and I will say, we're going to stay true to the recipe so you can see the real results. But then other times, I know, just letting you know, we're aware of that we say those things. <laughs> but then other times we choose to alter it <laughs> when we feel like it's not going to work out. Yeah, we want to save it. Save our hard work. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this in the fridge. Are we supposed to put it in the fridge? <gasps> what? Yes. I see. Oh, no, no, the eggnog. Oh, oh yeah. No. <laughs> So I'm just going to pour a little on my cookies and see how it just flows. Look, I have just enough. Just enough. Taylor, good job on measurements because there's nothing I hate more than leftover icing that I have to like dump into the sink because I don't know what to do with it. Oh, I think the icing is hardening. Oh no, it's not. Well. My sprinkles were bouncing off of it, but it still feels wet. <laughs> Ooh, I do like the uh, clear. The clear is probably pretty. I do not like my yeah. red and green. I did waste okay. sprinkles on these cookies. <laughs> oh. Okay, are you ready to try the Taylor Swift eggnog chai tea sugar cookie? Yes. Alright. First I'm gonna use one to five, one being bad, five being great. One, two, three. <laughs> I give it a half point less. Why? Just because <laughs> I give it a half point less just because of the eggnog. It was like it said one and I had to use five, you used six, so I just felt like, you know, I felt like there were a couple of guessing going on and I hate mm. those kind of recipes because I'm not an expert baker, so when you give me these instructions, if it doesn't work out, then I'm like questioning myself, did I do something wrong? But besides that, it was really easy. Okay. So in terms of the cookie, okay, on a scale of one to five, one being delicious, no. One being awful, five being amazing. Ready, set, go. What'd you give it? Oh, a four. Okay. Mhm. Mm I um, I really like it. I I am surprisingly <laughs> happy. And again, I think because of the whole brown color and then just using. I don't know. I did question it, but 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 then again, cat. I used a latte which does have extra sugar in it and milk. So I don't know if that helped or hurt my cookie, but for me, it was a lot better than what I thought it would taste. So I'm pleasantly mm -hmm. very surprised. And it's got a little extra pep to it than a regular sugar cookie. So mm. I think for the holidays, it is yummy. I didn't give it a full five because I didn't, I think that I was expecting it to be a little stronger in flavor. But I still think it's good. It's great. I, I didn't give it a five just because I wanted it to be stronger. But then again, maybe that's not everyone's palate. I do like things a little stronger in flavor, but it's still good. So Taylor Swift, good job. She can sing and she can bake. <laughs> bake, 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 bake. All right, guys, this is just the start of our holiday baking and cooking. We have a couple recipes that we've already found that's perfect for the holidays. And we promise to look for uh, recipes that you guys are going to want to try at home. So thanks for joining us, and we will see you guys again next week. Bye. Bye.